Hey everyone, it's Adam, your friend in Rideshare. Today, let's go over a critical bit of information that will make you smarter when you're out there on the road and help you avoid accidents, help you get to your customers faster, um, help you avoid doing nonsense things like driving a long ways just so you can make a turn. So today we are gonna discuss making turns over double yellows and U-turns. So this might come as a surprise to some of you, but yes, you can make a left turn over a double yellow in certain situations. Uh, for example, if you are turning into a private driveway or a private roadway, keyword is it must be private, not a public parking lot, not a public street, not a commercial lot, which I guess somebody might say maybe they're, they privately own a commercial place. I wouldn't want to risk that one in court. I'm not an expert on the law, but I do know if it's a private driveway, like uh, here in Los Angeles, we have a lot of double yellow going down uh, Sunset Boulevard, for example, into the hills, the Hollywood Hills. So you get like, for example, you get something like this where you have double yellow for miles and miles and miles, mainly because the, the road is really windy and uh, you might not be able to see around the corner, so you're really not supposed to pass. So in other words, this is a picture right from the DMV manual. Passing would be illegal, but let's say someone's driveway is right here. Let me get you a better picture to give you an idea of this. Um, let's look at this picture down here. So let's say you're that car way in the distance there and you're coming down this way and you're getting ready to make a left turn into that, that looks like a private driveway right there. So you're making a left turn. If this car is past you and there's no one coming at you right here and it's safe, no problem. You can legally make a left turn into that private road, roadway right there. So that would be one example where it's totally okay, no problem with it. If you didn't know any better, and let's say you had your customer with you, you might think, oh, I've got to drive, drive, drive all the way down here and wait until there's a break in the double yellow, then I can safely do my U-turn. Well, you'd really irritate your customer if you did that. So knowing this little bit of the law can really help you out a lot. In fact, it's wise to keep a copy of the current year's DMV manual in your glove box, just in case you ever have to talk to a cop or get pulled over. Um, here's a fun little graphic that's a little confusing. Um, <laughs> when can you exit the carpool lane? That's a whole nother, whole nother issue. One thing I know, you never wanna do a U-turn or a left turn over quadruple yellow. You're supposed to treat this like it's a brick wall that you can't drive through. If it's the end of the world, zombie apocalypse, okay, drive right through it, sure. But um, in an everyday scenario, you do not want to go over that. I got a really bad ticket once going over a quadruple yellow. So those are quadruple yellows, but let's focus on the double yellows. Here's an example where there's a break in the, the double yellow. So here you could do a U-turn, no problem. But we're talking about doing left turns and U-turns. So um, when can you do a, a U-turn over a double yellow? Well, here's an example where you're totally gone around it, the quadruple yellow again. But what if it's just a regular double yellow? Can you do a U-turn over that? The answer is yes, you can. Um, yes, you can make a U-turn over a double yellow when you have no traffic coming at you for 200 feet in either direction. I didn't totally type all this out because thankfully it's already on your... Um, your DMV website. Let's take a look here. If you go down, I'll post this link for this website on this uh, on the uh, the info section of this video. But you can do legal U-turns across the double yellow line when it's safe and legal. Well, what makes it legal? Uh, you need to have no vehicles approaching you within 200 feet. Um, if it's windy and there's a turn and you can't see around you for 200 feet, don't risk it because you could get hit or you can get a ticket. Uh, but you definitely don't want to get T-boned. That would be a really dangerous way to have an accident. Uh, but sometimes you have a stop sign ahead of you and there's cars waiting at the light and it's no problem to do that U-turn. In fact, in some cases, you might not even have to go all the way up to the intersection and then wait to do your U-turn. You could just go ahead and do the U-turn over the double yellow because you have vehicles stopped and they can't approach you. Um, and so while they're waiting, you can, uh, you know, assuming it's safe to do so, you can make that U-turn over the double yellow. So here's all the other examples of where you can do U-turns legally. And so um, another thing I saw in a recent DMV manual is you need to be next to the lane, adjacent to the lane of the double yellow. So you would need to be, let's go back to our images here. Um, let's say it's this guy here. You need to be, well, there's not really more than one lane, but you need to be up against near where the double yellow is driving here to make that U-turn. And this vehicle over here looks like it's stopped. So it's not oncoming traffic. But if this vehicle was coming forward, you would need to wait before you can make that 
turn. And honestly, I'd be very careful if you have people coming behind, driving right behind you, they're not going to expect to see you stop and wait to turn left over the double yellow because they are oncoming traffic within 200 feet behind you. So they might rear end you if you stop and signal and wait. So check behind you first. If you got no one behind you coming at you, then and you have no one coming in front of you and there's a double yellow, go for it. Get, make that U-turn and go get to your customer. Because you'll see this happen a lot. You'll get a customer request and they're right behind you. And if, you, if you're all clear, go ahead and do that U-turn and go pick them up. And then keep your DM van, man, DMV manual with you in your car. If you should ever have to explain this to an officer. Officers have to memorize a ton of information. It's not easy for them to know everything. I actually asked a, a cop once, hey, when is it okay to do a U-turn over double yellow? He's like, oh, I'm not sure if it is okay to ever do that. She was very polite, but I guess he just didn't know this one particular rule. And the main reason I made this video, there's so many DMV laws and traffic laws to go over. The main reason I made this was because sometimes you'll get that customer request and they're just right behind you. And it's so much easier rather than driving around and turning a block and coming back. If you've got no traffic, you can just do that. You turn over the double yellow. And if you're dropping off a customer in a private driveway, you can make your left turn over the double yellow because it's a private driveway. All right, so that's the main thrust of the lesson. Thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel for more great videos.